JUnit 5 is the latest release of the hugely popular JUnit open source testing framework. This video accompanies the IBM Developer Works tutorial JUnit 5 Part 1. In this video, I'll show you how to download the sample application for Part 1, import the code into Eclipse, run a single JUnit 5 test from within Eclipse, use Maven to run JUnit 5 tests from the command line, and use Gradle to run JUnit 5 tests from the command line. Let's get started. Download the sample application for Part 1. Open a terminal window on Mac or command prompt if you're on Windows and navigate to the directory where you want the code to land. Enter the following command, git clone https github.com makoto go hello junit5. Once the code has been cloned to your computer, you're ready to import the code into Eclipse. Now we'll import the code into Eclipse. I'll start Eclipse, and I'm running Oxygen 1A, but any recent version of Eclipse should work. Go to File, Import, Maven, Existing Maven Projects, browse to the directory where you cloned the Hello JUnit 5 GitHub repo, or you can enter the path directly into the root directory text field. Select the Hello JUnit 5 project and click Finish. Tour the code. Let's get you oriented to the source code and take a quick tour. First, from the Project Explorer view in the Java perspective, navigate to the Source Test Java tree and open JUnit 5 at test.java. You'll notice the exercise instructions are written in javadoc comments. They can be a little hard to read in their raw format, so I recommend using the javadoc view. Go to Window, Show View, Other, type javadoc in the filter field. You'll see the javadoc view under the Java Perspective folder. Select it and click OK. Now in the editor, click anywhere inside of the javadoc comment you want to see in the javadoc window, and Eclipse will format it nicely for you. As you can see, there are class-level exercises and method-level exercises. If you get stuck while working through the exercises, you can take a peek at the solution package. Once you have all your unit tests written, you're ready to run them in Eclipse. They should all fail because you have no implementation code which is in app.java, so let's open that now. In Project Explorer, locate the source main Java package and open app.java. The Java.comments comments tell you what the method is supposed to do. So now, write code until all your unit tests pass and you're done. Now let's run a single JUnit 5 test from within Eclipse. Once you've completed the exercises, you're ready to run the tests. From the Project Explorer view, find a JUnit test you want to run for the Hello JUnit 5 app, there's only one, so let's navigate to the Source Test Java tree. Select the Hello JUnit 5 package, and then click on the Run dropdown. Now choose Run As JUnit Test. The JUnit view opens. Right-click on the root node and select Expand All to see the entire report. You can also double-click on the tab title and it will expand to full screen. And by the way, this works for any view in Eclipse. Now we'll use Maven to run JUnit 5 tests from the command line. Open a terminal window on Mac or command prompt on Windows. Navigate to the directory where the code resides. And now let's look at the POM file. If you're not very familiar with Maven, the POM.xml file is the source code that controls the build. Now enter the following command to kick off Maven and just run the tests. MVN clean test. When the build runs, it will recompile everything thanks to the clean goal. The Maven Surefire plugin will run all of the unit tests as part of the test goal. The test will run last and a summary will show up as part of the build output. You can also look in the target forward slash Surefire dash reports directory for the XML report output by the Surefire plugin. There is also a text report as well in that same directory for each test class that runs. Now let's use Gradle to run JUnit 5 tests from the command line. Open a terminal window on Mac or a command prompt on Windows. Navigate to the directory where the code resides. If you're not very familiar with Gradle, let's take a look at the build.gradle file. This file is the source code that controls the build. Enter the following command to kick off the Gradle build. Gradle clean test. The Gradle build finishes and outputs a minimal set of information just like Maven, except in a different format, of course. The Gradle plugin for JNF5 does output detailed test results 
in the build forward slash test dash results forward slash JUnit dash platform directory. There is an XML file for the JUnit Jupyter API tests called test dash JUnit dash Jupyter dot XML. There is a report of the test results and contains lots of great information about the JVM, the environment, and of course, the test results. That was a quick look at how to run JUnit 5 tests from within Eclipse, from Maven, and from Gradle. The code for this video is available in GitHub, and a link is in the tutorial. If you found your way to this video from some other path than IBM Developer Works, make sure to check out the IBM Developer Works JUnit 5 tutorial part 1. A link to the tutorial is in the video description below. I'm Steve Perry. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. So long.